So two Republican lawmakers are now challenging House Speaker John Boehner for his leadership post. That vote will take place tomorrow, and both Congressman Ted Yoho and Congressman Louis Gohmert say that it's time they think for a change in the House of Representatives. But Speaker Boehner's office says, quote, Representative Boehner was selected as the House Republican Conference's choice for Speaker in November, and he expects to be elected by the whole House this week. He doesn't sound too worried about it. Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert joins me now. Good to have you here, Congressman. Good morning to you. Good to talk to you again, Martha. Yeah. So it uh, doesn't sound like John Boehner's too worried about the threat from you or from Congressman Yoho. Well, and that's one of the problems. Uh, yes, in November, the, the uh, Speaker had said we were going to fight tooth and nail. Uh, he's been on record as saying we're always going to give time to read the bill. You remember that promise from 2010? Uh, we were going to go through regular order. Uh, all of these promises were broken with the Cromnibus. Uh, we didn't fight tooth and nail, and that's why the uh, Speaker had to get Obama to, to help him lobby to pass the Boehner bill. Uh, and, and all of these promises need to start being made. And, and following up with your interview with Steve Hayes, you know, Steve made the comment we could be just totally getting rid of the tax code, those kind of things. And then you're exactly right. What we do in the next two years has a, a it's going to likely help determine whether we get a Republican or not in 2016. We saw how bad it was in 2012 when we didn't fight like we promised we would. We didn't keep right, our but, word but about I mean, reading the, the, the bill The speaker has a totally different situation now than he had before. Uh, I mean, and he would argue, I would imagine, that he had to deal with the circumstances that he had in front of him in terms of getting things done. But now I think, you know, most people on your side of the political fence would expect yeah. a very different posture. And, and well, for the ability for the to get speaker, stuff done. For the speaker to run in and, and pass the cromnibus that totally funds Obamacare for all next year, uh, it, 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 we took the hostage so of the we, Homeland Security. That was a huge mistake. But to borrow from a, a phrase from a, a few years ago, uh, for Boehner to rush in when we had the, the control of the Senate coming into our hands this month, this week, and, and make a deal with Boehner that funds everything Obama wanted for the year except Homeland Security is like Custer saying, come on, boys, let's attack now before well, there's all a lot of different, gets here. You know, there's a lot yeah, of different strategies and reasons for, for that happening and not wanting to shut down disaster. the government and a lot of discussion. It broke our People promises. have very different viewpoints on whether or not that was a good idea, and I understand what you're saying. But, you know, how realistic, you, what is your, why are you doing this? You know, I mean, why do you say that you're putting yourself forward for speaker? What do you hope to accomplish with it if the numbers look like they're not going to bear out for you? Well, the, the problem is the American people, as uh, Pat Cadell was indicating last night on, on the air, um, the numbers are 25 to 33 percent are ready to abandon the Republican Party. They're so fed up that we're not fighting for what we said. And if we don't show them that, it's going to devastate this country. We could have another Democratic president in 2016. We have got to show the American people that they don't need to abandon the Republican Party. There are people in the party that are willing to stand up and fight for the very things we promised we would do. And we can do those things. We can put Obama on the defensive just by completely getting rid of the Internal Revenue Code. I want a flat tax. Obama has said that, uh, you know, it's travesty for, for Buffett to pay less in percentage than his secretary, yet he's not proposed one thing that would change yeah. that. We can do that. Well, we I think, can put I think it there's a lot the of support on both sides for some real significant tax reform, and I think a lot of people are very disappointed that that challenge and that charge has not been taken up in a meaningful way. We haven't way. kept so we'll see what any happens. of our promises, so we have got to do that, and some of Understood. us are ready to stand up and keep our promises. I think a lot of people hear where you're coming from, uh, so we'll see what happens. Thanks so much, Thank Martha. you very much, Congressman. Good to have you. Thank you.